Hi there, my name is Rachel Walker. I'm doing my presentation on drug and alcohol use in adolescents and what influencers we have around us in society that make adolescents use drugs and alcohol at such a young age. I'd first like to start off talking about my experience going through high school and all of that. So I am 19 years old, I just turned 19 and I've graduated high school for two years now. When I was going through high school, I was always doing sports, so I was always keeping myself busy and when you're in sports in high school, you are not allowed to party and if you get caught partying, you get kicked off the team basically. And sports meant way too much to me for that to even, it wasn't even, I never even thought about it because if I even thought about getting kicked off or sitting out a game, it just, it broke my heart. So I never even thought about partying or anything like that because I did not want to risk it. But I noticed that when people had a hard time fitting in, they would go to the party crowd because it was easy for them to succumb to that peer pressure and if they were getting teased and because they didn't fit in, they thought, well, if I, if I just drank or did this with the people that party, then I would fit, I would have somewhere to fit in and I wouldn't get made fun of anymore. I noticed that a lot. So basically people would rather go drink or use drugs and and stoop down to that level and put themselves at risk and put others at risk so that they wouldn't get made fun of in high school anymore or it could even be younger now these days but it's just awful that people have to come down to that level to just so that they can fit in and get not made fun of and that's where something goes wrong in school and people need to pay attention to is that when people are stooping down to that level and are getting made fun of there's other ways that you can get out of that besides stooping down and doing drugs or using alcohol and I also noticed that when parents would be users or drinkers my friends would either go down the same path or they would learn from it learn from their parents mistakes Unfortunately, most of the time they went down the same paths as their parents, if not worse. I personally have seen what drugs and alcohol can do. I've seen it firsthand and I have seen what it can do to many different people, how damaging it is and how many lives it can actually change just from one person making such a poor decision. So that also strayed me away from alcohol and any drugs. There are a lot of pieces around here that I know kids are getting alcohol and they are not 21. They either use a fake ID and get alcohol or they, the people don't check their ID and they get alcohol or they simply s go so low that they steal from stores and get alcohol because stores cannot chase after you and they know that so they steal the alcohol and run. Which is awful that people stoop so low just to get alcohol to have a fun weekend and honestly I just think it's ridiculous because people you can have people can have the same amount of fun without any alcohol or drugs being involved and it just is so hard for me to understand why people party and what the point in it is uh, I really don't I've noticed that now that I'm 19 years old I don't hang out with anybody that I went to high school with because they are still partying and I'm in college I have two jobs I don't have time for that nor do I want to be involved in that but it has caused me to lose a lot of friendships and not in an easy way either it has gone down hard because I have they have tried I've been peer pressured many 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 times to go to a party or go drink or do this just at a house hanging out which is horrible I can't even hang out with some people because they just want to do that and I just don't want any part in it because I've seen how damaging it is to people but and it just you don't get anywhere out of it like there is nothing safe that's gonna come out of drinking just poor decisions and those poor decisions can actually change your life that's I've seen friends drink and drive and I mentioned in my paper um, how 8% of kids in high school drove drunk after drinking and then 22% of kids got in the car with a drunk driver. People don't understand that taking that risk can change your life. You can either be seriously injured, you can injure others which change you for the rest of your life or you can die in a car accident because of that bad choice. 
and it's just ridiculous it doesn't get it doesn't get anybody anywhere and it's not worth the fun that pink people think it is and lastly i wish that i could make a difference and i've tried to make a difference with my friends that drink and actually have a problem now that are 18 years old they i actually believe that they are alcoholics at this you it doesn't matter what age you can be an alcoholic if you're drinking every single night and binge drinking but i have tried to pull a lot of my friends out of that and out of the bad things that they get into and I've tried my hardest. What I would like to say is that you can want change for somebody but only them can really want the change and make the change happen.